Good day everyone, today we will be talking about introduction to algebra. In mathematics, we also use symbols to give meaning or to represent specific values. Here are the basic concepts that we need to take note. An example of an algebra is 3x plus 2. Now let us define first basic concepts and let's start with variable. Variable is any letter from the English alphabet representing pos possible values of quantity or any unknown value. And we may write any letters in the alphabet if the un value is unknown. In algebra, letters are often used to represent numbers. So if we have here 3x plus 2, this x here represents the unknown value. It is not the multiplication symbol anymore. So if we are talking about algebra, x is not a multiplication symbol but a representation of the unknown value. Another example, the number of flowers in a garden is represented by x since we don't know yet the number of flowers in the garden or the number of students in the class is represented by y since it is not stated the specific number of students in the class next we have numerical coefficient numerical coefficient is a number that multiplies the variable so again in 3x plus 2 3 is the numerical coefficient since this multiplies the variable x. Note that variable can be any letters in the alphabet but letter x is the common variable used in representing the unknown. So any number beside the variable is called the numerical coefficient. Next we have constant. Constant is a fixed value or a low number in the expression or equation. So in 3x plus 2, 2 is the constant. It is a known number or any real number. No variable beside it, just a number itself. We also have here what we call term. It's either a single number or a variable or numbers and variables multiplied together. We will know how many terms in an equation or expressions depending on the number of operations. 3x and we also have here 2. So it's an example of a term. Operations that are addition and subtractions only that separates the term. Just like y plus 7. There are two terms in y plus 7. y is a term and another term is for 7. We also have uh, 3x minus 5. So there are also two terms here. First term is 3x and the other term is 5. Addition and or subtraction separates the term. Multiplication like 3x is considered as one term. Same as with division like 3 over x is also considered as one term. Let's see if we understand basic concepts in algebra by identifying the variables, constants, and coefficients. We start with 10p. So here's our given 10p. Let's identify the variable, the constant, and coefficient. So our variable here in 10p is p, right? Because it's any letters in the alphabet representing the unknown value. And there is no constant because there is no fixed value here. And our coefficient is 10. Any number multiplied by the variable is a coefficient. Next, we have 3x minus 2. The, our variable here is x. And our constant here is negative 2. Why is it negative 2? Well, the constant is 2, but the operation here is negative. Whatever is beside or whatever is the operation beside the constant, you include that in the number. And our coefficient is 3. Positive since there is no negative here. Next is 5xy. xy, the variables are x and y. There are two variables. There is no constant because there is no alone number or a fixed value. And the coefficient is 5. Any number multiplied by a variable is the numerical coefficient. We also have here 2a plus 9b. The variables are a and b. There are two variables. There is no fixed value here. The coefficients are 2 and 9. They are both positives. The operation is positive, so it's positive 9. And there is no negative in 2, so it's positive 2 as well. Here, 3m minus 5n plus 8. So our variables are m and n. There are two variables. Our constant is 8. This is a fixed value. And our numerical coefficients are 3. And we also have here negative 5. So we include the operation in this number beside the number. 
you have 5 and this is negative and this one is 3 but there is no negative sign so it's positive so 3 and the other coefficient is negative 5. Another concept that we need to learn also is what we call as algebraic expression. Algebraic expression is a combination of one or more constants and variables along with at least one mathematical ex operation. Example, we have 5y plus 6. So it's a combination of one or more constants and variables along with at least one operation. So it's an example of expression. We also have here, at least since it's at least, so it can be more mathematical operations. So we have 3x plus 4y minus 7. Combination of constant and or variables along with at least one operation. On the other hand, we also have algebraic equation. A statement that shows equality between two or more expressions, at least one containing a variable, thus it always has an equal symbol. Example, 5y plus 6 is equal to 25, 3x plus y plus 4y minus 7 is equal to 50. So you see the difference between expression and equation. Equation shows equality, so there's an equal sign. Unlike the expression, it's just only the cons uh, combination of constants and variables and operations. It doesn't show equality in expression, so that's their difference. Now, let's have example and see if you can identify if, if the given is an expression or an equation. 3a plus 2, is this an expression or an equation? So this is an expression doesn't show any equality. 4x plus 5 is equal to 10. That is an equation. So this one, 4x plus 5 is equal to 10, is an equation. It shows equality. 5p, it's an expression. 5p is equal to 15, is an equation. 2q minus 5s minus 3, it's an expression. And 3q minus 2s plus 7 is equal to 15 is an example of the equation. So that's about reduction to algebra.